Greetings, wonderful denizens of the interwebs. I'm Lord Akantos. Welcome back to Stasis. Last time we found some <clears throat> more interesting details about everything going on here. And more of these hybrids being strapped down everywhere. And I have a feeling we might be closing in on the end here. Can't wait to see what twists will potentially still happen. There might be something off with John as well. Let's see, there are open power cell housings here. Are these all empty? And awaits a replacement. And that one stands empty. So do we need to get those power cells for each of these? <clears throat> I'm guessing so. Okay, yes, there was one power cell here. <clears throat> Wait, is this a lock? So we need a key here. Where do we get a key from? No, we can't combine anything. What if we pour glue in there and try to... What happened? Power cell housing lock imprint. Okay, we used that glue to make an imprint of the lock. <clears throat> so what can we use to make... But the twisted metal from the robot, can we... Oh, we just... Inserted that into the imprint, essentially. Okay. Can we now get the power cell, then? <clears throat> Didn't quite expect it to go like this, but... This was a kind of a novel idea. Like, not the making key part as such, that's done before, of course, but... Yeah, I just started thinking that that's probably what's going to happen when we remove this. It will probably kill everything still alive here which is probably a very good thing three women. Seems the fetus is still wiggle, so they're still alive, I guess. Third and last one. Oh, we'll have to use this. Can we use it to destroy the glass wall? I wonder. Just like we did with the turret on that glass door. Oh, shit. John, you fucking cunt! You fucking goddamn bloody idiot! The smell of freshly spilled blood and guts fills the air. The creature has been cut raggedly in half. But, <clears throat> seeing as probably... This creature would have stayed here suffering until the ship gets destroyed by Neptune, eventually. This is probably still much better for it as well. Okay. Let's use it again, let's see. Holy fuck, John, what the f- What the actual shit? <laughs> A new remotely operated surgical model and utterly lethal in the wrong hands. Yeah. Wrong hands are right here. Having access to it. Holy shit, how about you turn it first? We can still use- Is John gonna destroy this whole fucking room first? Like- Pretty much. It is utterly unusable now. Shattered glass and melting plastic stands before you. A very expensive piece of equipment now reduced to nothing more than junk. 
Not that we care about this, but... Damn, John, why didn't you turn it first and then fire? The hub has been massively split in two by the surgical laser. I'm surprised he didn't manage to off himself with that. Okay, let's continue on. See what awaits on this side. Off the glass wall. Warning. The environmental control and life support system has been compromised. Please report to the visitor center for further instructions. Uh, how about we don't report to the visitor center? Does it even fucking... Is it even accessible anymore? Probably not. Melted pieces of glass lay among the other splintered remains. This time we can't pick up any shards, it seems. We can run here, but there isn't anything here. No, there's nothing here except to the next tunnel <clears throat> and area. Oh. Abnormal neural activity detected. On who? John? I wonder what the hell has been going on here. Have they done something with John and he just doesn't know or remember? Animal testing sign and mask zone. Warning signage. Sinister signs displayed along the walls. Animal testing. Gas mask zone. And here's another one for the gas mask. The heavy duty decontamination door. So somewhere. A laser grid here, a plastic tube, you can imagine people being farmed through here like cattle. It is not a pleasant picture. Mm. Yeah, okay, we can access this one and that seems to be our only option at the moment. What did we have? We still have the power cell housing key. So I wonder if there's going to be more power cell hunting still. We have our PDT still, and then the slug gun, and the empty pistol still. That just bugs me. <laughs> Why? <clears throat> We've thrown away so much more, like, items, things that you'd expect to be much more useful. Okay, more corpses for the incinerator. Dead hybrid in cage. These are cages filled with dead hybrids. This is the... Well, this is essentially a discard station, or way to it. The creature stares vacantly into the dark, a victim of its own existence. Lots of blood. Cages. Does heaven have a place for a creature that was created in hell? It is propped up against the bars of its tiny prison surrounded by similarly small cages. The creature reeks as if it had been dead for some time. The creatures contained here are malnourished, desiccated husks. The stench is thoroughly vile, a rotten mishmash of smells that range from putrescent to death. There's just one empty cage here. It is a reinforced stainless steel cage, only a few square feet, barely large enough for a small animal. A distended limb drops quickly to the ground on this dead hybrid. A prison for these poor beings, but more like a disposal area. That exactly is what this is, <clears throat> clearly. But there's nothing else here. We can't interact with anything. Okay, what if we just run back now? No, nothing. Okay, let's try to open this door. Oh, we can see it through. Viewing portals for the dispassionate scientists of Project Seed. Oh, wow. Wow, there's a lot of dead things here. A mass of creatures, human and hybrid, huddled together in their final goodbyes. Some fought for a way out or held each other near as the gas pulled in. Oh, so this was essentially a gas chamber. Yep, gas pipes. This chamber was constructed with the express purpose of filling it with a containable nauseous gas. I wonder... <clears throat> Winging light, this is not science but murder. The lights illuminate desica desiccated corpses and agony clenched fists into sharp arc lit relief. 
Yeah, I wonder if Ellen is here. Scratches. The walls are marked with ragged scars created by human hands or something like human hands. These creatures, frozen in fear as gas crept insidiously through the vents, now lie still, twisted in agony. Deep gouges are cut into the wall, you can picture the poor souls clawing at the wall and screaming with what remains of their humanity. A mass of creatures, oh yeah, same description, yes. More, scr more scratches, the walls have been scoured with scratches, broken fingernails are evidence of a desperate escape attempt. Oh wow. Okay, let's now go back to this cage room. Since we took a peek there, maybe that is needed to progress. No. No, still nothing. What the? F what the fuck is happening? That Milan. Fuck. So I guess we didn't die. Nope. Oh. It is Milan, I bet. Looks like him. <clears throat> and I don't think there's anyone else really alive much here. I don't think John Stalter is alive either. going to be the end. I know why you're here. I don't know what you're talking about. Bullshit! Listen, Milan. Doctor Milan. Let's discuss this rationally. Enough! I'll see you soon, Miss Hensley. Give my regards to your cool Mr. Maracek, you sneaky bastard. Not to worry, I can speed up this little family reunion. What have you done, you Rebecca? I think he right, yeah. just hinted at it. Oh fuck. Rebecca! Rebecca! <laughs> you took away my life's work, Mr. Manacek. Now let me return the favor. Cage seven open. Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy the show. I'm off to deal with Judas. Oh no, we have to find some way to get the Becca place in the room, clearly unaware of how close you are. Yeah, I'm guessing that's a uh, <clears throat> mirror on her side. IV tubing, these transparent tubes are used to pump liquids directly into the body. John's PDT, a data imprint of John Marachek is running through this PDT and it's in noxious circuits. Are these the items we had now? Yes, I guess so. DNA scanner sits idle, awaiting genetic material for processing. Should we put our PDT? Gas pipes filled with the hiss of gas and bubbling of liquids. The pipes penetrate like thick tree roots into the computer systems below. <clears throat> An organic soup is congealed around the edge of the recycling drain. There's a door here. A surgical observation room would provide an excellent view of any procedures being performed below. Wooden writing desk up there. The familiar smell of wood polish creeps through the air from the wooden writing desk. A leather chair, stressed and cracked leather, shows the age of Dr. Milan's chair. Oh, we can see some stuff from there too. Uh, computer racks, the large metal doors are locked into place. Um, plastic sheeting below you is spattered with vile fluids. Okay, saving time first. Now then. Where did Rebecca go? Just because I saved, she disappeared? Oh, there she is. Okay, we saw some... Children's books titles include Old Man Kane, A History of Kane Corporation in Pictures for Ages 4 and Up, The Goat and the Toad, Parables by Amanda Thripp, 
and where the Christmas tree stood by Don Parsnip. That first one is a bit disturbing, in my opinion. Okay, don't see anything else. Let's try to interact with the glass. Oh! I, I knew it. I called it in the very first part. I knew it from the tone that this will not have a happy ending. And oh. oh, I'm not surprised John is not running. <laughs> okay, let's see. Do we have to use... Our PDT on the DNA scanner? No? Oh, can we try to still break the glass? Oh, sorry. Damn, getting kids can change you in ways. Okay, yes we can. I think this is what we're going to do now. Teddy bear, this once comforting toy's fur tufts are now stained with fresh blood. Guess Charles gonna take it. John? I understand you're emotional. No shit. Still. Get Ellen. We can save her. Yeah, ask if she's fucking alive anywhere. We know already that she won't be. You need to put your daughter's DNA into the scanner. Yeah, I figured. I'm living in a nightmare. I can't do this. I just can't do this. Don't have a choice. Lan is a monster. We need to find Ellen. We need to put Rebecca's blood into the scanner. Now! Don't go Arnold on me. <laughs> <laughs> Every time it's worse, Batman. For your child to go before you. Scanning. Can you get out of there? No. Dispose of biological material for processing at recycling station 0314. Oh, recycling drain. <clears throat> Come on, take the teddy back. Sleep now. That was quite the rush. The occasional guttural gurgle echoes deep down the drainage pipe. A foul solution spews from the open pipe. A faint smell of ac acrid smoke spews from the drainage vent. Drainage B14. This facility is zoned as B14, which means there could be at least another 13 rooms just like this one. <coughs> There's a dead body in hazmat suit. The bright yellow hazmat suit pointlessly still protects the decomposing corpse from the toxic environment. And the PDA. I'm guessing we're going to be stealing this suit. There's some pumping equipment. The technical apparatus used to pump and regulate the flow of chemicals in this processing and recycling plant. Airlock. I guess we'll try to get to that. Metal grating. Tough metal bars form a secure barrier to what lies beyond. A controlled stream of corrosive liquid spills from the siphon. Yeah, some sort of acid. Remains in acid. Oh shit, it's filled with remains, only now noticed. The floating white meat is plump and bloated. 
while also blistering in the acidic concoction. What was once living tissue is now disposed of in the most efficient manner. Biological tissue is burned beyond recognition. The dead and organic matter cook together in a caustic soup. Man, <laughs> these descriptions. <laughs> like, <clears throat> one would suffice since it's just a sing single big pool of corpses, but I do appreciate the extra effort <laughs> for these multiple different kinds of descriptions of essentially the same thing. But melted balustrade over a long period the putrid acidic fumes have melted the balustrade walkway pitting corrosion is visible in the alum aluminium gangway there's an exclamation mark so i guess john will drop down or attempt to jump here will this break under his weight and the impact what not no nope. okay john huh? Are you there? Yes. I found her. The wife is in the military room. I'm on my way there. That was probably Milan. Just saying. <laughs> and the terminal, the locked exit to the organic recycling facility is just out of reach. Okay, let's check the PDA before we strip the corpse of its protection. That it, of course, doesn't need anymore. Dwayne H. Jones, drainage service technician level 3. Only one log entry, deleted and or damaged. Abandonment. No feeling like it. Betrayal. There's another one that cuts deep. To be betrayed and abandoned by your own family. Well, fuck. What can I say? It's been 10 years since Maggie put my name into the progressive assisted selected suicide lottery for $10,000 cash from the government. No questions asked. They said it was a fantastic deal, all that cash and only a super slim chance that my name would be selected. The state wins in the long run with one less welfare case and my family gets a cash bonus. Now that is fucked. For some reason this kind of reminded me of Running Man, the novel, not the Arnold movie uh, adaptation. But it's been several years since I read it, not, so I'm not sure exactly why, but did I have a say in this? No. So April 15th rolls along and BAM! Just my luck. My name is picked along with a few thousand other unlucky bastards. I did the only thing I could, the only thing I've ever really done. I ran. I joined Kane Corporation and headed as far away from my blood-sucking wife as possible. I've worked my way up the ranks here. Level 3 gets me limited seed access, which means I clean up some weird and disgusting shit, but at least nobody talks to me, or asks questions, so that suits me just fine. Who cares? At least I'm alive and kicking, master of my own destiny. Keeping that in mind, I've been stuck in this room for a few days now with only the dead as company. Nobody is looking for me, but at least the bodies have stopped falling into the acid vats. That green goo is my way out of a better out to a better place. A sip of that shit and I'll be assisting my own goddamn suicide. To anybody reading this, please pass this message on to my wife. Fuck you, Maggie. <laughs> Love the attitude of this guy. But when was this entry? Wow, this scrolls slow for some reason now. Oh, it doesn't say the, uh, the date. I was wondering because he wrote this clearly after the body started falling here. We've been interested in knowing when exactly that happened. Okay, time to strip you. Bye. Well, what now? No? God. Yes, that. <clears throat> That's the spirit. What? Just a glove? Five Teflon fingers protrude from the impermeable glove. That's all you're gonna take? Come on. Oh, surprise, folks. That's all the time we have today. Join me again next time as we'll find out if Ellen is still alive or not and whether or not anyone is going to make it out of here alive in any sense of the word. Thanks for watching, hope you have a great day and or night. See you next video.